Hello, um, this is Brandon Hudson. Um, not much for YouTubing, but I figured I'd try it out for this one um, project. So I'm rebuilding a, a transfer case on a uh, 78 FJ40. Um, a little bit of background. Um, the this is the original transfer case got it all taken apart um the reason for the um, uh, removal is the high speed gear you can see it's uh, missing some teeth a couple teeth let loose um chunks of teeth let loose so um that was the only damage to uh, the high speed gear um, so I got a rebuild kit, um, your basic full rebuild kit you can get from Spectre Off-Road. Um, as I was going through, uh, there was some wear, wear parts. Uh, the sleeve, the shifting sleeve, you could see a um, considerable amount of wear on the teeth and also the teeth on the gear. Of course, the gear is getting replaced anyway, but you can see that a lot of play. Um, and this is the new high-speed gear with the new sleeve. Um, that's really the only new gear, oh, but with the exception of the output shaft. Did get a new output shaft. This there was some some wear on the surfaces of this so i went ahead and got a new one and plus now i don't have to worry about fighting to get the needle bearing uh, case out just press in the new needle bearing that came in with the uh the rebuild kit um a lot of these pieces are maybe worn a bit more than uh, a stock um, FJ40 would be uh, because this has a, a Ramjet 350 um, Chevy small block in it. This is the second small block Chevy that's been in this truck. Um, so it's had a lot of higher torque, higher horsepower um, going through the drivetrain. Um, for many 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 miles and many years so um but the one of the main reasons i wanted to make this video is the um idler shaft um and i looked up a, a, you know quite a bit on the internet to uh, try to find if anybody has done any uh customization uh you know improvements to to this shaft uh, it is a wear item um this um it, it is a pain i guess you can swap this out in situ um but it's not easy um you pretty much have to take the it's getting the the trans transfer case out i think to um to get this out and replace it is the 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 recommended way but uh this particular shaft um one of the things that we've done is cut in an additional uh groove uh right here as you can see there's two grooves on this one and that way you could get double the 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 life out of these because it only wears uh on one side uh so with that uh, that one cut um we we're able to rotate it 180 degrees while it's in the transfer case without having to do anything and then you've got a a, a fresh surface for the um, uh the bearings to ride on because it it kind of torques it um and you can see where it wears um you see this one's worn quite a bit um and it's worn on both sides because it had been run for many 
a couple years in one position and then rotated 180 to the other position. So um, we were thinking about ways of uh, prolonging the life of these. Um, some of them would be um, oil passages drilled in to the OEM shaft. Um, thought about doing that. Um, didn't really get around to doing that. So I tried something different. We've got um, uh, a few shafts here. Um, as far as I know, I couldn't find anybody that's tried this. Um, but uh, just wanted to kind of put this out there and see if... Um, you know, what people think of this um, and I'll put something out later on down the road and see how this goes but uh, basically I've got three sh three new shafts here um, one is the OEM uh, purchased uh, it actually was it came in this rebuild kit uh, that I got um, didn't really need it but I got it anyway and it came with it so um, the this guy here is an OEM purchased separately years back um, it was um, put through a micro polish uh, process um, and then it was um, kind of do-it-yourself at home hardened um, by uh, putting in heating it up in an oven and dipping it into a high carbon uh, fluid of some type um, this was done years ago I can't remember what the stuff was called but um, it's not it's kind of a uh, a hardening process that you can do um, do yourself at home without a lot of specialty tools um, so and then lastly this guy is a linear shaft um, that is case hardened um, you can see by looking in the right light um, the thickness of the hardened case from the side um, this is a, a ten dollar shaft that I picked up from McMaster car um, super hard uh, super slick um, outer case and um, had it machined to um, uh, you know basically to, to, to match the OEM shaft um, and so what these numbers here also are uh, because of where I work um, I've got access to some additional tools and uh, testing equipment so uh, um, the Rockwell hardness number is what you see on each one of these OEM is only 26 um, the the OEM that had been micro polished and uh, hardened um, do-it-yourself hardening um, is uh, 50 uh, so there was some improvement here um, and then the uh, the off-the-shelf linear shaft uh, case hardened is uh, 60 so considerably harder than the OEM um, so based on it didn't cost me anything to get this machining done um you know so for me i'm ten dollars in for this new shaft um you know i think uh, most folks would be able to get you know you buy this one inch uh diameter uh shaft from mcmaster car um take it somewhere to get it machined um i think you might still uh be in for less than an OEM one cost by doing this um, if this does end up working out um, and we'll see I'm gonna install get everything uh, installed here in the next few days um, and um, kind of put this put this video out there uh, probably put it on a couple forums and, and see what people think um, about this because this thing you know it does tend to wear it starts to makes the uh, the drivetrain louder uh as it's wearing um so we'll see if um if this is a good idea or not thanks for checking it out